Today I'm making cocktails with just vodka and no other alcohol. Because there is nothing in the world more versatile than vodka. <laughs> if it's not the cheapest or flavored vodka, it has no distinctive taste, color or aroma. Well, almost. Thereby it goes well with any ingredients. I have already made a video about cocktails with just vodka, you can watch it, link is in the description. And today I will make some more cocktails, both popular and original. Give this video a like and let's go! One of the most popular cocktails in the world with vodka, perhaps even the most popular, is Bloody Mary. The cocktail is named after Mary Tudor, who was the Queen of England in the 16th century. It is believed that Mary was very cruel and uh, that she was nicknamed Bloody Mary, although many historians believe that all of this is nothing more than legends which appeared after her death, especially since she ruled for only five years. Be that as it may, the origins of the cocktail aren't exactly clear. It was either invented in the mid-1930s by Fernand Pitt Petois, a bartender from New York City, or maybe it had something to do with the American actor George Jessel, who loved the combination of vodka and tomato juice. There are many variations of Bloody Mary. Uh, by the way, maybe I should make a separate video about different Bloody Marys, tell me in the comments. But uh, today I will make more or less common version with a few changes. The first thing we're gonna do is rim the highball glass with salt and tajin or tahin and set it aside. Now to the shaker. Add vodka, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Tomato juice, 4 ounces, 120 milliliters. A little bit of lemon juice, about half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Tabasco or other hot sauce, 2 dashes. Worcestershire sauce, about two to three dashes. Also, I like to add this Maggi sauce. It's like a umami sauce, something like soy sauce, but not quite. Two dashes. A little bit of salt, black pepper. And actually, you can add anything you want. Celery salt, tahin spice, horseradish, or even hot mustard, smoked paprika, or anything you like. And it is customary to make Bloody Marys using throwing technique, because supposedly shaking it is too aggressive for the cocktail. I'll demonstrate this now, but I'll tell you right away that it, I don't see any problem with a short and vigorous shake. The main thing is not to overdo it. Fill the second half of a shaker with ice. Take a strainer, put it inside the shaker and do this. Then again, and again. You can do it several times to chill, dilute, and also aerate the cocktail. Now take our rimmed glass, fill it with ice, and strain the cocktail. Now it's time to garnish. We've all seen these photos with crazy garnishes of Bloody Marys with bacon strips, shrimps, olives, lemon wedges, tahin, burgers, uh, chicken nuggets and everything you can imagine. But I'm gonna garnish with classic celery stock and a lemon wedge. I'm not usually a fan of this cocktail. As I've said before, uh, it's like an alcoholic uh, tomato soup. But I get why some people like it. It's like a, a meal in a, in a glass with alcohol, so why not? If you like it, uh, tell me in the comments why. Continuing the vegetable theme, cucumber cooler. Of course, it is more of a summer cocktail, but summer is inside, in the heart of each of us. And also, you don't have to drink outside, and it's usually warm indoors all year round. If it's not, comment below, I'll think of something. To the shaker, add. Cucumber slices, four to six slices, it's uh, about a half of a mid-size mid cucumber. Simple syrup, which is one part sugar, one part water. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lime juice, about one ounce, 30 milliliters. Or a juice of one lime. And of course, vodka. Two ounces, 60 milliliters. Muddle the cucumber with a muddler to release all of its flavors. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating this shake to this comment. Fill the highball glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. And top up with tonic water. 
about two ounces, 60 milliliters. Stir a little and garnish with a couple of cucumber slices. A sweet, refreshing, uh, a little bit sour cocktail with a pronounced cucumber flavor. It's better for summer, as I already said. And if you want it to be less sweet and more refreshing, you can substitute tonic water with simple soda. Everyone and their dog knows about Tequila Sunrise, a cocktail consisting of tequila, orange juice and grenadine. Although it's not the original recipe, I can make a video about that if you want me to. But why not replace tequila with vodka, I thought. It's a pretty decent cocktail too, a kind of screwdriver with grenadine. And by the way, there was a whole video where I replaced different spirits with vodka in classic cocktails and it turned out delicious, you can check this video out. Fill the highball glass with ice. Now add vodka, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Orange juice, three ounces, 90 milliliters. Stir a little to mix it all up. Add more ice and put a little bit of grenadine so it sinks, about half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Stir just a little bit to get this sunrise-like color. And garnish with an orange wheel. <sighs> I have to say it's better than tequila sunrise. I'm not a big fan of mixing orange juice with tequila. And here's uh, the neutral vodka with grenadine and uh, orange juice, just like you're drinking uh, just orange juice with grenadine. It's good. In my top 10 most overrated cocktails video, the apple teeny takes its place of honor. Bloody Mary is also there, by the way. Mainly because there is no single recipe of this cocktail and it's often a sugar chemical bomb. Pretty nasty. But if you make it according to a good recipe, it's not a bad refreshing cocktail. So let's make an apple teeny. To the cocktail shaker add vodka, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, apple juice, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and good quality maple syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Find strain to the cocktail glass and garnish with a lime wheel, because I don't have apples. <sighs> this version is not too green, as you can see, but it's uh, the best tasting version, because it's all natural and the maple syrup should be uh, top class, A grade, because uh, its taste is pronounced. Highly recommend this one. And one more cocktail for today, mango splash. We're gonna need a shaker. To which we're gonna add. Which spirit do you think? You're right. Two ounces, 60 milliliters. Mango puree, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. And lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fill the tulip glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. And then top up with soda. Stir a little. And garnish with a lemon wheel, because we also don't have a mango slice. <sighs> Fruity, not too sweet, not too bubbly. Perfect cocktail. It reminds me a little bit of Bellini, which is sparkling wine with peach puree. It's not peach and, and there is no <laughs> sparkling wine, but it is sparkling and uh, fruity. It's pretty good. Uh, my mango puree is without sugar, so be careful if your mango puree has sugar in it. Maybe you don't need to add simple syrup. Cheers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, to join YouTube membership or become a patron on Patreon. Check out other cocktails with vodka that I made earlier or cocktails with just two ingredients. All the recipes in text form are on my website dr-cork.com. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot. Drink responsibly and as always, dosidos.